Hey guys, welcome back to Bronx and MacBook. Um, today's topic is estimating products of whole numbers and decimals. You see here, I've underlined the word estimating because that's what we're going to be focusing on in this chapter. I mean, the topic. And so let's write an example. So, for example, we have, for example, so we have 22.5 times 5. That's our problem, right? What do we do? Well, first we have to round or estimate. I mean, estimate, I said round, but estimating is different than rounding. So we estimate the number 22.5. Since this number is a decimal, okay? So we round that, so we bring it over here, 22.5. Now, as you see over here, I'm making a range. Why? Because to estimate this, we need to look at the number after the decimal point, so in this case, it's 5. And so we need to make a range of 0 to 10 and put 5 in the middle, okay? So now we go ahead and put a number that's after the decimal point onto our range, and 5 we go, will go in the middle, okay, right here. Well, if it's in the middle, what do you do? Do you round it up or do you round it down? The thing is that if the number is less than 5, then you round it up, and, our, uh, and then our estimation will be to 0. And if it's greater than 5, the number, then it will be rounded to 10. Well, 5 is in the middle, so we will have to round it above, so it will be 10. Now, to put the 10 in, we don't actually put the 10 in, we are going to advance the whole number, which is 22. We're going to advance that one unit. So if it's 22, it's going to become 23, right? And it's going to be 23.0. Well, the 0, .0, you can cut that out because it has no value in the number. So we'll just cut that out and we come back over here, forget all of this. Take our number, which will be 23, put it in our problem. And now we have a new problem, which is 23 times 5. How do we do this? Well, it's simple. 5 times 3, so we know that 5 times 3 is 15. So we, are the f we put the 5 over here, bring the 1 around onto the 2, and now we do 5 times 2, and we know that 5 times 2 is 10. So 10 plus that 1 is 11, and our final product will be 115. Uh, stick around for our next topic, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye.